Dr. Tripathi, for you, to you first, it almost seems as if this is now an annual ritual. We normalize the idea that every November the air will get severely polluted. Is this something that you believe we cannot get away from or are there solutions out there that can still be discovered to raise the quality of clean air? Uh, thank you, Mr. Sarvesai, for having me over here. Uh, yeah, this was a particular, uh, I would say, uh, deadly combination with uh, very intensified stubble burning uh, starting from October 28th to November 4th and with a very calm kind of conditions over Delhi. In fact, it began with Westerly, which pulled all the emissions generated from stubble burning in Punjab into Delhi. And then again, wind somewhat weird, changed the direction, and which kind of made it a very calm, oscillating kind of conditions over Delhi. And that had made this episode very, very severe. Mm -hmm. uh, having said that, uh, certainly, we uh, certainly will uh, look for improvement in that, and that's very much possible. Uh, if you see last few years, even this year, stubborn burning over all counts, I was looking into the data for October compared to 2022, as well as the first week of November, it has dropped by about 40, uh, 40 to 55% in terms of the total number of fire counts mm -hmm. over Punjab and Haryana. So we need to have more sustained effort to basically kind of cap uh, totally on the far fire. And that can make a big difference because that is a major source at this uh, time around the year. And when actually the meteorology also plays a, a very adverse role. So yeah, we, we can probably expect better uh, conditions. Vivek Chattopadhyay, are you as hopeful the fact that the number, pure numbers of stubble farm, uh, uh, farm fires have come down, stubble burning has come down in Punjab and Haryana? Is that a hopeful sign? Or as we've seen this year, AQI is still remaining above 400. Are we clutching at straws? I think uh, our efforts uh, like uh, in Punjab or Delhi and NCR are not is still that adequate to reduce the air pollution because the severe peaks are reflecting that our efforts are failing. Um, like we can always blame the meteorological conditions, but uh, definitely our efforts have to be more intense and monitoring has to be, has no, must what, be. What do you mean specifically by efforts? What are the specific efforts that are not being, that are not being put together? The major efforts are like uh, efforts in Delhi and Sia, like we have banned the coal in industries, but there are industries, they are using coal. We need common boilers. Uh, we need uh, uh, monitoring in um, NCA region more intensely. GRAP is enforced in Delhi, but uh, do we know that what is the implementation in NCA regions? And do we know uh, how many, like uh, what is the requirement of buses and other transportation, public transportation system in NCR and Delhi. So I think there has to be uh, efforts beyond farm fire because farm fire is definitely a phenomena, episodic phenomena, 15 days. But thereafter also, during the winter, we uh, witness mm -hmm. severe and very poor air quality. So certainly other sources of pollution should be also our focus. Uh, so you want to see, a, you, you think there should be a transparent, comprehensive, for example, pub, uh, public transport policy. You, need a, uh, you are going to need to ensure that industries are actually acting on the norms that have been put in place. I just want to certainly, come to uh, Dr. Tripathi, you know, that's the question. The government goes into panic mode, uh, particularly here in Delhi every November. Schools now closing down. We are going back to the odd even scheme. All of these seems as short term solutions instead of taking any long term solutions, ensuring that we can find ways, particularly when it comes to transport also. Uh, do you believe that this has to be done with center state cooperation working together? rather than at conflict with each other to find long-term solutions now? Well, we definitely should look for long-term solutions. And that is why CAQM kind of body came into existence, Commission for Air Quality Management of Delhi and CR and adjacent geographies. That is one kind of solution. Certainly there are more, as you rightly say that, even when there are better weather conditions, we still are not enjoying the best air quality in summer or in springtime, 
So definitely we need to work around the year so that we have a decent air quality and then we look for probably good or the acceptable air quality from national air quality standard. Mm -hmm. That is what is a more sustainable solution rather than having these desperate measures taking during desperate times. This is not going to help. I agree with you. But at this point of time, when the situation is very bad, I mean, what can you do? But what can you do, uh, Dr. Tripathi, suggests a sense of helplessness. That, you know, the government says, look, what can you do if the weather conditions are such, if the farmers continue with stubble burning, what can you do? We just have to live with it. The truth of the matter is, we have the same party in power in Punjab and Delhi. Uh, we need to work with experts, put in place a comprehensive year-round solution. Who's going to do that? Who takes that initiative? See, there are, uh, there are uh, very clear actions or you can say air quality management strategies are in place. There are clear guidelines which are certainly being given as part of National Clean Air Program. 133 cities have got so much of resource in terms of infrastructure, you know, human resource development, which are given to these cities. Punjab also has many cities. As I said that there are other help also have been given to farmers at different times in different ways. Now, implementation has to be done by state governments. Now, certainly the state governments need to do much more. No, so implementation by state governments, uh, Mr. Chattopadhyay, surely the center though needs to put a bl blueprint in place that prioritizes uh, the problem of clean air, the need for desperate need for clean air. Who, where does the buck stop? Should I be, as I was in my show today, is it the buck stop with Arvind Kejriwal's Ahmadmi party government in Delhi with the Punjab government of Bhagwan Man also up? Or does it st stop at some level with the Union Environment Ministry as well? It, it has to be state coordination has to be the job of the central government because uh, after all, the, all the states uh, uh, have to control their emissions and in isolation, they cannot work. Uh, definitely, they will be uh, like blame game. Often uh, it happens. And in other countries, there are good neighbor policies also. Good neighbor policy is like the other state has to reduce their emissions in order to meet the standard for the another state. Mm -hmm. So I think, uh, for example, Haryana is polluting Delhi. Delhi is polluting say, Noida, Greater Noida. So all the cities and all the streets are connected together. So mm -hmm. coordination mm -hmm. and scientific planning and comprehensive assessment of the problem and implementation has to be monitored by the central body. Uh, I think, and along with definitely, states have to do their job. Uh, <laughs> and um, um, we can't have the like piecemeal efforts. It has to be throughout the year uh, efforts. And our targets have to be set that, okay, we are going to meet the air quality standards by a certain date. And Indo-Gangetic Plain, particularly, which is a landlocked area, needs very intense action because this is a very unique geography and very unique meteorological condition in world. We, are, we have Himalayas, we have uh, other mountain mountain regions. It that doesn't allow like movement of the uh, uh, air. Right. So I think we have to have very uh, good scientific approach and implementation policy in order to meet the air quality standards here. Let's leave it there. Vivek Chattopadhyay, Dr. S. N. Tripathi. I think the clarion call is to have a long-term vision that makes clean air a national priority. My right to breathe. That's the critical question. Is someone willing to get the center and the states to work together on this? Because uh, the air belongs to each and every one of us.